Hey there you guys, Sean Allen here. I just wanted to basically state that today is Veterans Day. It's November 11th, 2016. And I wanted to express my gratitude to anyone that's in law enforcement or that's serving in our military, both currently and formerly, um, and anybody in our Navy and Marines, our Air Force. I can't tell you how much I fully support you guys all the way. I mean, you guys keep our country safe, you keep our streets safe, and you guys have a very dangerous task. And I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like that, that are against you guys, and it's very sad. And I just wanted to say that if you're in the military or in any form of law enforcement, um, you have my utmost support, and it really does mean a lot that you guys keep our country safe. Yes, I know there have been issues with like the police and all that, but to be honest, let's be real here. They're here to protect and to serve, not just the police, but also our military, our Navy, and our Air Force, our Marines, anybody like that. In that also includes our firefighters and our medical teams, you know, the doctors and nurses. They all deserve our support and affection because they are the ones that help us every day, whether we see it or not. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. And yes, I do have family members that uh, were formerly in the military or currently in the military. Um, all same thing with friends. Unfortunately, um, some friends didn't make it home, um, which was very, very sad because I knew some of them for a long time. Um, <clears throat> and my gran my grandfather was in the Marines or. No, I'm sorry, the Navy. Um, back in World War II, he was in the South Pacific. Uh, my mom's uncle was a paratrooper. He actually parachuted into Normandy, which, as you all know, is D-Day. And that was probably one of the bloodiest battles in all of World War II. Also one of the most dangerous. And we lost a lot of men that day. Over 100,000. To be honest with you guys, I do actually have a piece of real American history. I know that I have this display. Actually, I do have a couple pieces, but this is my American history display. And this is a Revolutionary War pistol. That's a rifle from the Revolutionary War. Those are replicas. They don't actually fire. Um, these are dueling pistols. Up here we have the p image of the train here. Uh, the Independence Key. And, or Freedom Key, whatever you want to call it. The gun that shot Lincoln, that's what John Wilkes Booth used. Again, these are all fake. They don't actually fire. Um, this is an actual piece of the Berlin Wall right here, believe it or not. I don't know where exactly um, my dad got this, but this is an actual piece of the Berlin Wall. This is actually a, a railroad spike that I got from Travel Town, and I painted it gold because of the Transcontinental Railroad. And that's a big penny. Now, what's cool about this is that it says one cent on the back. That's a Liberty Bell. And I think, uh, oh yeah, it's some gold right there. That's actually just gum. <laughs> um, anyways, so I'm trying to think, is there anything else up here that I can show you? There's an American flag, my Let it, Let Freedom Ring bell, which is actually my bell from Grandpa's house. But anyways, what I'm about to show you guys is an actual piece of, of war history. Um, after the Battle of, of D-Day, um, I guess the paratroopers had uh, decided to cut up their parachutes and send pieces of the of it to their families and this my friends is an actual piece of military parachute from D-Day. This is the one that he used when he went into battle when he jumped out of the plane. And I did see scenes from I believe it was from Private Ryan where they were jumping out of a plane and all that but he actually lived. Um, he actually survived D-Day, which is amazing. I mean, considering that so many men died that day, he was one of the lucky few that survived. Um, that was by God's grace, obviously, but he didn't really live that long because after the war, he died of a brain tumor, which was very sad. He was like in his early 20s, I believe it was. But yes, this is an actual piece of, of American history from D-Day. And yeah, wow, right? Anyways, um, I didn't want to continue talking about this stuff but um, for this long, actually, but, you know, it, it happens. But anyways, I hope you guys appreciate and support our veterans. And, you know, if you see a veteran, you know, shake their hands, say thank you for your service. I'm pretty sure it will mean a lot to them. So 
again, thank you all so much for your dedication and your... Uh, I, you literally have my utmost respect, so thank you.